Shalom, call hello, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Let's give all praise to the Most High in name of His only begotten Son, name of the Holy Spirit. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone who taught us His truth and truth and sincerity, peace and salutations to the hopeful that scattered abroad. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And uh, real quick, I want to go into this um, this topic of what happened in Chile. Okay, it says nobody talking about Chile, just like Hawaii, it's been burned to the ground. Okay, grown, they didn't even spell it right, but um, I got a few clips here I want to show, make a few points, ain't gonna make this too long, but uh, you know, th these devils are definitely in power and they're definitely doing, you know, the, 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 the devil's work, man. All right, and it's only gonna get worse in these last days. So it's our job to warn you of this. You know, telling you to repent, telling you to seek your help, you don't shy. Now why he may be found, because it's only going to get worse in these last days. To start off, I want to go to Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 5. It says, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and evil and only evil, behold, has come, which evil goes into bad times. It's about to get very bad. You know, in, in Chile, you, uh, you have the tribe of Naphtali out there. All right. And they're catching hell. Okay, you got Esau got something called um do direct energy weapons and they're calling it forest fires but we know better than that all right so i got a few clips i want to show um and i pray be edifying to the hopeful elect i'm gonna grab this in the nlt it says ezekiel chapter 7 verse 5 this is what the sovereign lord says disaster after disaster is coming your way okay so disaster after disaster is coming your way this is why the Lord said the prophets to come out here and warn you, to tell you to repent, to get right. Because what's coming upon this earth is about to be worse than anything anybody has ever witnessed in history. Shalom. <laughs> Okay, so there you go. Um, so like I was having some problems with the, the volume, but I figured it out. Uh, let's go back to Ezekiel chapter 7. And let's go to verse 6. It says, an end is come. The end is come. It watcheth for thee. Behold, it is come. In the NLT, it says, the end is come. Situation just got a It says, in NLT, it says, the end is come. It has finally arrived. Your final doom is waiting. Okay, so. Yeah, these devils know what they're doing, man. Now, this is, uh, th then this happened last week. But I, I want to, you know, I had to gather some information on it. And I want to definitely speak on this, man. Okay. Because um, what they're trying to do is they're trying to make smart cities. Same thing with Hawaii. You know, they're turning Chile into a smart city. And uh, there's going to be more. You know, there's going to be more of these places turned into smart cities. Okay. Because the elites are, um, they, they have these agendas that they want to fulfill. And they want to do it by a particular time. You know, they got agenda 2025, agenda 2030. All right. So they, they want these things to be done. All right. And set in place. Now, now, now let's play this one. A whole lot fucking crazier. As you can see, former Chilean President Sebastian Pinero dies in a helicopter crash at 74 just yesterday. But before we go any further, I want everybody to be aware of the situation at hand and why we're talking about Chile. This just so happens to be what majority of southern Chile looks like at this very moment. As a series of deadly wildfires that killed over 112 people ravaged through the areas of southern Chile. Now stay with me, okay, because this is the primary reason of why we're speaking about Chile and the wildfires. 
As you can see, thousands of homes were destroyed in flames, which swept through the hilly settlements around the resort town of Viña del Mar starting Friday, propelled by high winds. A regional state of emergency was declared and a nighttime curfew imposed. Well, ironically, the same energy institutions that just so happened to be involved with rebuilding Maui in quotations, just so happened to have their fourth LA conference on sustainable development of energy, water, and environment systems. Just on the 14th to the 17th of January, 2024, in where? Ironically, if you look into as of why they're interested in Viña del Mar, you might see here Viña del Mar is considered Chile's top city to live in, work in, and visit, and ranks second behind only Santiago for education. And then a whole bunch of other pros for the area as well. And that doesn't seem to be the only article that seems to be talking about things like that. Now what's ironic is the company named Hitachi just so happened to have a website just a couple months ago that just so happened to be deleted that clearly stated that Maui was supposed to be the first integrated S-M-A-R-T island. So that's pretty interesting and the reason why it's so damn interesting is because of this. Oh wow, you mean the S-M-A-R-T city business Chile headquarters are at where? Huh. And then if you just so happen to go to their summit website you might find things like this. And has anybody gained notice as to of how many lithium mines are being built in southern Chile? I'm not laying claim to anything officially being true. But I hope I can at least connect the puzzle pieces for you a little bit easier. In the last episode, I just so happened to speak about a certain satellite that just so happened to be above Maui the day of the wildfires. Now once again, not laying claim to anything officially being true, but the satellite just so happens to be owned by a company named CERN. CERN a couple years ago just so happened to declare that they discovered the fifth force of nature which just so happens to be something called cosmic energy. And the cosmic wow. energy may or may not be collected via satellite. And when it is, it just so happens to be able to produce a specific beam. But you can't actually say that word openly here on TikTok. But it's ironic because I spoke about in the last video as well that there has officially been a Space Force unit created just last year, right? That is designated to defending the nation against adversary satellites that are capable of producing ground-based what? Yeah, once again, can't use that word. But gosh, that really makes you think, huh? Did you know Jeff Bezos just last year just so happened to build a SMART hub in the middle of the waters in Greece? And the main two areas that just so happened to communicate via data with the hub are Athens and Larissa. Wait, Athens and Larissa just had their worst fire seasons to date. Oh man, wait, what? It's not hard to research into these matters for yourself, people. I mean, come on. So many people rely on mainstream media and the news to paint this picture. So there you go. All right, the guy was making some good points. All right, which shows you, man, there's a lot more going on than what meets the eye. You know, we can't be simple in these last days, man. Okay, that's why I said I, it took me a little while to, to do this because I wanted to get my... I think uh, let me turn that off. I wanted to get some more uh, research on it, you know, so I, I was just surfing the internet, getting all these clips, you know. Let's go here to 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. Let Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. In the NLT it says... So that Satan will not out, outsmart us, for we are familiar with his evil schemes. So we see how this devil move. Okay, we are familiar with his evil schemes. Which I want to do a video uh, separately about uh, these different animes. You got um the uh, the, uh, the the show uh, Invincible. It's on Amazon Prime, where the character Omni Man, you know, pretty much went, went had, had flew out of space. Because they had shot him with one of these direct energy weapons. And uh, he, he flew out of space and went through it. And when he flew out of space, the energy weapon said 144. All right, which is spiritual. Because really, they, they, you know, they plan on using these weapons against the, the, uh, 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 um, the Israelite man, too. When that power comes. You know, also in the movie um, Akira, uh, uh, one of these weapons were used on him. You know? Um, and it like pretty much blew his arm off. <laughs> all right. So these devils, they, they, they know. And they know that power is coming. So they're making up all these weapons. Okay. This is the sword of Esau. Let me grab one more. <clears throat> As we have been warned to never trust this devil, man. You know, so you can't put all your eggs in one basket when it comes to his media. You know, you got to do your own research. Okay. You must do your own research. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse... Um, Let's go to verse 10 get right to the point it says never trust thine enemy for like his iron rust if so is his wickedness and this devil you know he has a uh, you know demonic tendencies to uh do you know wickedness and, and and portray himself as good okay he he he's he's in power you know and they're doing these things let's grab this <clears throat> it says uh 
Micah chapter 2 verse 1. Woe, which means destruction to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hands. So these people, they're actually, you know, thinking of these things before they go to bed at night, you know, of how to, you know, how to destroy the earth, how to bring more hell to the earth, how to uh, uh, really, you know, kill and destroy more of you Israelites. OK, and it says, and when the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. This man has the power. OK, this is his kingdom. He has the power and he's doing these things. It says they covet fields and take them by violence. So they, they want this land and they're going to take it by violence. I remember for you, for you, a few years ago. It was a big thing about, um, the you know, the ant, the ant, you know, that they wanted some of the, Am the Amazonian forest. But the native people to that land, you know, was, was, was telling them, no, you can't have it. And it was actually in court, you know, fighting with these people in court. And they were in their their, their uh, native attire. You know, in this man's courthouse, you know, and, you know, Esau lost that court case. So what did he do? He burned it. OK, he burned that land and took that land. So it says they covet fields and take them by violence, the house and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. And this is how this devil gets what he wants. You know, he has a way of going about to do wicked things to get what to get what he wants. All right. Which we need to be delivered from this devil, man. All right, so let me, let, me, let me play some more. The same thing that happened in Hawaii happened in Chile. Why isn't nobody talking about it? Just pay attention. Listen to what she's saying. Look at the caption. There was smoke. The sky turned the black. The same thing that had happened in Hawaii. Like a hurricane. It was like being in hell. That's the same thing Fire somebody else said when stuff of happened 10, in Hawaii. Minutes, he thought it there. was a hurricane. There were burning embers everywhere. We couldn't stand the heat. It was hot as hell. Can you imagine? And that's just uh, the, the Israelites there, man. Those are Israelites from the tribe of Naphtali. We didn't know what to do. We said this we had crazy. people uphill from neighbors. And father, daughter burned, and neighbor across the street also burned. Wow. We were left with nothing. We need help, food, and pets, and clothes. Hey, you gotta understand this, man. Let me say this too, bro. Any moment, okay, these devils can rain fire down upon you and your house and everything that you have, and they'd be gone, you know, like that. One day you could be, you know, li you know, living just fine. Next day you could be, you know, Barely making it out uh, with your life. Okay, let's play some more. Mm. Check it out. Look just like the footage is from Hawaii. From Hawaii. It's all seem familiar, right? They've been using these direct energy machines. crazy pay attention why wasn't that red car affected hmm. check this one out this is crazy tarnished demolished this was no forest fire they said that it was a forest fire this is crazy why isn't the blue? Just pay attention. See that the blue wasn't touched. Nothing that was blue or red. And we wonder why the people in China been painting the top of their house just blue. Mm. The same thing that happened. Wow, so the people in China are painting the top of their houses blue. Because they know. Okay, they know, which I, 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 got, I got some footage of that too. Let's play some more. Centrémonos en Chile. ¿Por qué super hora de calor? Primero por la amplitud geográfica que abarca desde la región de Coquimbo hasta prácticamente la región de la Araucanía de los Ríos. O sea, gran parte del país está bajo este patio. Dos, y a diferencia de lo que ha ocurrido hasta la semana pasada, donde la costa se libraba del calor porque estaba con el lado, con Chovina, con Garúa, esta vez también se sumará el litoral de los 
So they saying it was hot. Okay, it was really hot. You know, days before. You know, we know Esau. He has a a, a way. You know, to make this weather. You know, these different we these different weather patterns, which is perfect for what they want to do. You know, which what, what I believe what they was doing was they made it hot to pretty much dry everything out. You know, so they can go back through with that. You know, weapon of destruction. You read this, it says, unprecedented wildfires in Chile took the lives of at least 123 people. Hundreds are still missing and thousands of houses are destroyed. This disaster was officially called the deadliest fire in the country's history. Why are so many record-breaking calamities happening in different parts of the world today? What will the year of 2024 bring if it has started like that? So, you know, here we are in uh, February, you know, the beginning of February. And uh, this happened, I believe, in late January, early February. And these things are, ha are happening. So what else is 2024 going to bring? Which I got more videos I want to do on that. Because we, cause, because cause this year is going to be a very pivotal, a pivotal time in history. If, if if you paying attention, if you know, that, hey, we, we about to see, see some shit this year, bro. Okay. It says, don't you think that it's high time to ask our governments and scientists uncomfortable questions regarding the results of current climate change activities? Yeah, because they'll tell you, oh, yeah, it's a, oh, the climate's changing. No, you're doing this. All right, so I brought out Never Trust Thine Enemy. It says, um, it says, uh, are they really bringing any value? Eventually, their lives also depend on this so let's voice these questions out let's talk about more of, of about the climate events on our social media pages this topic must not go unnoticed and that's why i, I definitely had to bring this out you know i don't want I, I i don't want this to go unnoticed you know and it's our job you know as spiritual you know news reporters and uh to tell you what's going on on earth so it says breaking Chile wildfires, more than 100, rec uh, re 100 recorded dead so far. And I'm going to try to say that word. Oh, well, let's next play few it. days. State of emergency has been declared in Chile. Hundreds of homes are at Look risk at that, from man. wildfires raging in the country. Some of the fires are threatening tourist areas, including Valparaiso. Now, that's where more than 17,000 acres have already burned. Scientists say the fires are being made worse by both a drought and a heat wave. Mm. Uh, heat wave is expected to affect Argentina, Paraguay, and Brazil in the next few days. Mm. State of emergency has been declared. There you go. So Chile suffered from a wildfire a couple of days ago, right? Everyone technically lost their homes, cars, everything. But somebody took a video that was very questionable, and I'm gonna play it right now. And you guys, let me know what you think about this. Será verdad la teoría de la casa azul? Mm. Now look, I'm not one to believe in coincidences, right? I believe everything happens by design. How mm. many coincidences until it's mathematically impossible? Do you get what I'm saying? So I don't know, guys, like this is a very interesting uh, occurrence. The house was barely touched. OK, everything around it demolished, burnt to ashes. But somehow it managed to stand still. Mm. Now, I'm sure some of you remember this video, right? Yep. I'm not going to go into it too much. It's pretty self-explanatory. But I want you guys to comment and let me know what you think about this, because I don't know how many people seen that video, but yeah, that that that's a strange coincidence, if you know what I'm saying. So mm -hmm. let me know what you guys think about this, because yeah. So right here, you remember this video? You had this experiment of them using that pretty much that same technology, and it's showing how it doesn't burn anything that's blue. Okay, that's why I said China is painting their houses blue, you know, their roofs blue. They they know what this government or these governments are capable of. And they're painting their, their, their roofs blue for that reason, okay, to, to protect their homes, all right? I just thought that was very interesting. All right, let me see what else we got.
fire. He says 92 absurd fires. Absurd fires. think man not even just the fires but just to breathe that you know that that air in is you know detrimental to your body okay it says a video shows the last minutes of the helicopter where uh, Sebastian Panero was traveling along with three other people shortly after the helicopter fell into Lake uh, Ranco, where the death of the former president of Chile was confirmed. The government has just confirmed it, right? So they said days before this, the damn president was pretty much assassinated, man. Okay, because apparently he, he probably, didn't, you know, didn't want to get down with the program. Which is happening too. You had a Super Bowl that happened. And they're saying, you know, during the Super Bowl thing, this whole Super Bowl thing, uh, you know, you know, it was being covered up by one of the presidents of, was it Ghana? You know, he was in a helicopter, you know, going to the Super Bowl and his, and his helicopter had went down. All right. So you got, you know, um, nefarious powers in play in motion here that's doing these things in the earth. Okay. I that's his helicopter. So that's it on that. All right, um, let's go here. Beautiful. All right, so this is um, she is. Let me see who this person is. I forgot who she was. Okay, so this is a uh, Barbara, Marks Hubbard. I believe she's like, um, she one of these devils. I forgot exactly who she was. She worked for like, you know, the government. I forgot. I, I, I thought it was said. It should say it, but you know, we will just read this and uh, touch on some of some of the things that she said. Okay, Barbara Marks uh, Hugh, uh, Hubert. And what does she say? It says one fourth of humanity must be eliminated from the social body. We are in charge of God's selection process for planet Earth. He selects, we destroy. We are the riders of the pale horse. Death, okay? And this is an Edomite, okay? This is the, this is the spirit they're coming. And they know that they were created to be the devil, okay? And they're going to do their role perfectly. They're, they're, they're going to play, play, that, play that role perfectly, man. It says, um, it says from the handbook of co-creation. It says we will use whatever means we must to make this act of destruction as quick and painless as possible to the one half of the world who are incapable of evolving because you they, they want you to evolve into the new world order you know to take that karate you know the majority of people are not going to be with it so their thing is okay well you, well, well you know what let's get rid of them it says the selection process will be quick so this is the spirit of these devils man all right as we come to bring death to those who are unable to know God, we do this for the sake of the world. The riders of the pale horse are about to pass among you. Grim reapers will they grim reapers. They will separate the wheat from the chaff. So that so so that they're getting ready to bring in this new world order, man. All right, I'm gonna play this too. I played this last because it could definitely get a strike, but hey, here we go. All right, Lord willing, you know, they, they don't take this video down, but this is what she said, okay? These people are Luciferians, you know, they they, they, they worship the devil, they're, they're, they're working with the New World Order, 
you know, and, and they have plans. And in their plans, they're about to really start showing out. All right, so let's, so let's, so let's, let's go ahead and play this. What I, I realized is we are the first species on the face of this earth to be aware of evolution, to be aware that we are affecting our own evolution by everything that we do, the babies we eat, the food we eat, the mm. car, uh, wars we fight that. that we do, the babies we eat, the food we eat, the babies we eat, the food we eat, the, the babies we eat, the food we eat. No, so one would think, oh, she, she, she didn't mean to say that. No, that's what they do. You know, her, their, their tongue fall fall upon themselves. Let me grab that too. All right, because their tongue, these people's tongues are falling upon themselves. Even in her book, she was she was saying a lot. Okay, pretty much exposing their their, their own selves. And if you paying attention, you're going to see it. All right, it's is is no denying it. This is Psalm chapter sixty four, verse eight. It says, um. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. Right. And that's what happened. Her tongue fell upon herself. She, she, she told on herself. And the NLT it says their own tongues will ruin them. And all who see them will shake their heads and scorn. Right. So they're being found out. You know, she, she, had, a, she had a slip of the tongue. But, you know, she, cause she didn't mean to say that. But that's how these people live. All right. That's who they really are. All right. That, that 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 that's how they get down all right so let me put her on the camera you know let's grab a few more scriptures all right before i close out it says uh psalm 17 verse 13 arise O yahweh and this is why we need yahweh bashim yahweh shy man you guys is playing with the name of the lord and you don't gotta worship yahweh shy you you yeah you're gonna have a rude awakening man okay without yahweh bashim yahweh shy you are totally fucked okay i'm gonna say it just like that because that, that that's how real it is Without Yahweh Shai, you are totally fucked. Okay, you need a savior. And if you don't have Yahweh Shai as your savior, you're hey amen. You are through. Okay. It says, uh, Arise, O Yahweh, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. Right. And we want the Lord to deliver our souls from this wicked devil, man. Okay, because that's his sword. That's the Lord's whooping stick. It's Esau. All right, and he's about to really start whooping. He's really about to start using, you know, that damn switch. <laughs> you know, you know how niggas talking about I got a Glock with a switch on it. Well, Esau got, you know, a, the real Glock with the switch. It says, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword, from men which are thy hand. So this is the hand of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Okay, the left hand. All right, these people are pretty much death angels to do the, to do the bidding of the Lord to bring great death and destruction. It says, uh, from men which are thy hand, O Yahweh, from men of the world, which have their portion in this life, and whose belly thou fillest with thy hid treasures. They are full of children, and leave the rest of their substance to their babes. As for me, I will behold thy face in righteousness. So lock in. As for me... I will behold thy face in righteousness. I shall be satisfied when I awake in thy likeness. Right. And that's what we want to awaken the likeness of our Lord. We have to be changed. We have to be delivered from these devils because these the, the, the people are the fucking devil, man. All right. And excuse my language, but I got to tell it to you, Frank. All right. I'm blowing my nose real quick. Slock you. Uh, these people are the devil. All right. And, 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 and it's only going to get worse. OK. They're only going to get worse at being the devil. So let me grab this. Um, like I said, and, and the people that, you know, in, in Chile are Israelites from the tribe of Naphtali. So, you know, their mindset is, oh, we got to get ready to get, we got to get ready to get rid of these Israelites. Okay. And now they're actually moving, you know. It says, Ezekiel chapter 21, verse 8. Again, the word of the Lord, Yahweh came unto me saying, son of man, prophesy and say, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh. Say a sword, a sword is sharpened and also furbished. It is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. That's that short. Esau was given uh, the, the sword from his father Isaac, which is, you know, if you can uh, receive it and, and the re regeneration. That was your house shy. OK, or uh, yeah. So he, he was given that sword. 
okay and now that sword is being sharpened okay he is perfecting his blessing that's why they got such a thing as uh do direct energy weapons because that sword is being has been sharpened it ain't just no physical sword anymore now they got guns they got uh drones they got you know all types of different kind of weapons man they got fucking ai you know robo dogs terminators they got all kind of shit bro and they're about to unleash all this stuff upon you israelites upon you jakes and upon some of their own people too but their main goal is you israelites it says son of man prophesy and say thus saith yahweh say a sword a sword is sharpened a and also furbished it is sharpened to make a sore slaughter and that's what happened in chile it happened in maui it says it is furbished that it may glitter should we then make mirth this is this is a time to make mirth this is a time to be trying to have fun and enjoy yourselves and you know distract yourselves from the reality of, of, of the time that we are in hell no it says it contempted the rod of my son as every tree it says and he hath given it to be furbished that it may be handled this this sword is sharpened it is furbished to give it into the hand of the slayer okay and that's what this bitch uh, uh barbara marks talking about they are the hand of the slayer okay and they gonna they, they gonna do what they was created to do scripture talk about spirits created for vengeance and they shall appease the wrath of him that made them so these these these, these edomites hey they are spirits created for vengeance too okay and they're gonna appease the wrath of the lord the lord wants this to happen you know you know they think it's their plan but really it's the lord's plan and it's, it's to get rid of the two-thirds of our people you know and bring and bring destruction upon this earth so the lord can come back and deliver the elect it says cry and howl son of man for it shall be upon my people it shall be upon all the princes of Israel, terrors by reason of the sword, which ultimately Esau is the sword. Terrors by reason of the sword shall be upon my people. Smite therefore upon the thigh. Let me see if I can grab this in NLT. Because this is, uh, hey, this is the reality, man. This is the time that we are in. Okay, and you got to actually consider these things, you know. In truth and sincerity. You know, you got to come to the understanding of uh, what time we in, man. This devil's about to really start showing out. He about to really start uh, showing you he the devil. Let me read this in the NLT. All right. It says uh, Ezekiel 21 verse uh, 8. Hmm. I get right to the point. There, there, there's, 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 there's a lot on this, but I get to the point. Let me let me go up a little bit. It says uh, verse six. Mm. Let's go to verse five. It says Ezekiel 21 verse five in the NLT. Everyone in the world will know that I am Yahweh Bashim Shai. My sword is in my hand and it will not return to its sheath until its work is finished. And that's what Esau, Esau was created to do a particular work in, in this earth, man. It says, son of man, groan before the people, groan before them with bitter anguish and a broken heart. And that's what, what we're doing as we go out here and prophesy, man. Okay, we're, we, we are groaning. We're, we're telling people, say, oh, y'all oh, prophets of doom, y'all preaching, uh, what they say, um, what they say, fear monger. No, we're not fear monger. We're telling you the truth. This shit is to be feared. Yeah, how about y'all shots to be feared, man? Okay, and if you don't get it, you you gonna get it. All right, Pro probably the hard way. It says, why, when they ask why you are groaning, tell them I groan because of the terrifying news that I have heard. You hear this? We have heard this terrifying news. We know it was coming. We know what the Lord is about to do. The Lord has opened our minds and our spirits to understand this, man. So it's so it's it's upon us to come out here and warn you and tell you of what's coming. The Lord will let you hear. The Lord will let you. Uh, you know, take heed. Scripture says, uh, they that hear, whether they hear or they forbear. It's our job to tell you. Okay? It says, I groan because of the terrifying news I have heard when it comes to comes true, the boldest heart will melt with fear. You see? When this comes true, the boldest heart, you know, all you people that, that think you tough in the mind, the boldest heart will melt with fear. You're gonna find out your whole bashing y'all shy is to be feared. Okay? The Lord is not a joke. All right. It says 
all strength will disappear. Everybody going to be feeble. You saw how them people was helpless. They was helpless, man. If fire rains down from heaven from a direct energy weapon, guess what? There's nothing you can fucking do besides call upon your whole body. You shine. That's the truth. That's the truth of the matter, man. You know, we, we, we're in this flesh. Flesh burns. Imagine you seeing your neighbors around you, you burn up in their houses, man. That shit can come so fast. You ain't going to have time to, 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 you know, escape. It says every spirit will faint. Strong knees will become as weak as water. And the sovereign Lord says it is coming. It's on its way. You hear this? It's on its way. I love the NLT, man. The NLT, it, 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 it makes it so clear. Okay. But it's on its way. Then said, then the Lord, Yahweh said to me, son of man, give the people this message from the Lord. That's, that's what we're doing. We're giving you this message from the Lord, man. Okay. We're not doing our own will. We're not doing what we want to do. It's, this ain't about us. This is about giving you the message of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, telling you to repent, telling you to get right. Because if not, you will be destroyed. That's the cold hard truth. You will be destroyed. This ain't about no damn debate. We don't debate. The truth is not up for debate. You want to debate? Waste your fucking time with somebody else, man. Okay, we're just here to give you to give you give you this message. It says, "Son of man, give the people this message from the Lord. A sword, a sword is being sharpened and polished. It is being sharpened for terrible slaughter. Great slaughter is coming in these last days. Many people are 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 about to be unalived." And polish to flash like lightning. Now will you laugh? Now, hey, you think this is a time to laugh? Those far stronger than you have fallen beneath its power. Right? People that have, you know, far stronger than you have, 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 have you know, been destroyed under, under this devil. It says, yes, the sword is now being sharpened and polished. It is being prepared for the executioner. Okay. Son of man, cry out and wail, pound your thighs in anguish, for that sword will slaughter my people and their leaders. Everyone will die. You see? <laughs> this is about to get nasty, bro. It will put them all to the test. What chance do they have, says the sovereign Lord? Son of man, prophesy to them and clap your hands. This is what we out there telling you. We're prophesying to you and telling you these things. Before they come, it's ain't about fucking, uh, you know, and I, and, 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 I, and I see what's going on with all these other camps talking crazy. Hey, listen, man. Hey, uh, what the scripture says, let the blind lead the blind. They both shall fall into a ditch, man. If you still fall in these bugged out camps, bro, that's that, that's your ass, man. All right. That's your ass. Ain't nothing that we can do to do, 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 do to help you. All we can do is give you the warning. All right. Everybody's going to fall in, in, in their particular lot. It says, son of man, prophesy to them and clap your hands. Take and then take so I can then take the sword and brandish it twice, even three times to symbolize the great massacre and uh, the great massacre facing them on every side. So there's going to be a great massacre on every side, man. All right. What chance do you have? OK. It says, let their hearts melt with terror. For the sword glitters at every gate. It flashes like lightning. It flashes like lightning and is polished with for slaughter. O sword, slash to the right, then slash to the left. Wherever you will, wherever you want, I too will clap my hands and will satisfy my fury. I, the Lord, Yahweh, and Shai have spoken. Right, so this is the time we end. Okay, the Lord has spoken. Let's grab this. I'm gonna close out with this. I don't want to make this too long. I just had to touch on this, man. I know it probably already went. Yep, yep. So I'm I'm right at right, right at that 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 time. But let's go here. It says um. It says, uh, this is Revelation chapter 6, verse, uh, I'll get right to the point. Uh, 
I'll get right to the point. Revelation chapter 6, verse uh, 3. I'm reading the NLT. I was reading the KJV first. It says, And when he had opened the second seal, I heard a the second beast say, Come and see. And there went out another horse that was red. And you see she got this red shirt on. This is the red horse, Esau. Okay? I do these Idumians. Okay? It says... And power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. So this devil was given a great sword, okay, to take peace from the earth and that they should kill one another. All right. Let's grab it now. T. When the lamb broke the second seal, I heard the second living, uh, the second living being come say, come. Then another horse appeared, a red one. Its rider was given a mighty sword and the authority to take peace from the earth. And there was war and slaughter everywhere. You see, so that's what's time we coming into a time of war and slaughter everywhere. OK, so you got to repent. OK, repent. Seek your house by shy because these these times we're coming into are unprecedented. You think you, you know. Jake, come on, we, we are in Jacob's trouble. No, you ain't seen Jacob's trouble yet, man. You ain't seen Jacob's trouble yet. You about to see it, though. Okay, let me let me, let me end off with that as a matter of fact, man. The Elder Pastor coined this year the year, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble, which it very well can, can be at this point, man. You know, if you're paying attention. If you're paying attention, there is no denying this. All right. Let, let, let's grab it. And I'll close out with that. All right. And I pray to let us be edified to the hopeful elect. Uh, but yeah, this, this, this thing is about to get very, very, uh, serious, man. All right. We all got to examine ourselves and make sure that we're in the right spirit. Make sure that, we do, that, that we're, you know, serving a true God, the true God of the Bible, doing his will. You know, we must be about our father's business. It ain't about our own business. It's about our father's business. You know, it ain't about what we want. It's about what the Lord wants. All right. So it says, uh. So lucky. It says, um, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse, I start at verse 1. The word of the Lord came to Jeremiah from the Lord, Yahweh, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Shai of Israel, saying, Write thee all the words that I have spoken unto thee in a book. For lo, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh, that I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel and Judah, saith the Lord Yahweh, and I will cause them to be re to return to the land that I gave to their fathers, and they shall possess it. And these are they, the words that Yahweh spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. You Israelites, one second. <laughs> you Israelites, it says. For thus saith Yahweh, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. This is the time we're coming into. A voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Only thing that's going to be able to save you is Yahweh, Bashem El If you don't got the Lord with you, then you're not going to be saved from this time we're coming into. Ask ye now, and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins, as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness, what, from fear? Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even a time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. You see? So, let's read down the NLT. It says, um, this, uh, verse 4, Jeremiah 30, verse 4, this is the message the Lord, he never go that message again. You see? That there's a message being, being delivered to you here. Starting with the prophets. Okay? This is the, the prophets are the mouthpiece of Yahweh Bashim Shai. So, you know, as, as we got this word, it's our job to, to, to del deliver this word unto you, carrying the right message. It says, this is the message of the Lord that uh, the Lord gave concerning Israel and Judah. This is what the Lord says. I hear cries of fear. There is terror and no peace. Let Now let me ask you a question. Do men give birth to babies? Then why do they stand there? ashen face hands pressed against their sides 
like a woman in labor. People, men, men are going to be screaming and hollering like a woman in labor. That's how bad it's going to be. How much more the women and children? In all history, there was ne there has never been such a time of terror. It will be a time of trouble for my people, Israel. You see? So it's going to be a time of trouble for, our, for, for the Lord's people, Israel. Yet in the end, they will be saved. And our, our heart's desire is that Jake be saved. If you if you watching this video, if you're doing your videos, if, if, if you're seeking your help by Shemal Shai, in truth and sincerity, our heart's desire is for you that you might be saved, bro. We all need to be saved. You got too many Jakes that that's in the spirit of, you know, uh, one, 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 and see the people destroyed, which, you know, at the end of the day, we know the majority of Jake ain't going to make it anyways. But our heart's desire is that Jake wake up, that Jake repent, and that Jake can be saved. Because the times we're coming into, man... It's gonna be bad. Alright. Let me go to uh all enough with this so like I know so it's gonna that. Let me enough with this right here. Let's go to Daniel. Let's actually go to Daniel chapter twelve, verse one. It says at that time Michael, which is the archangel, okay. Michael the archangel, the angel of war, archangel of war, who stands guard over your nation will arise. This is in the NLC. Then there will be a time of anguish greater than any since nations first came into existence. But at that time, every one of your people whose name is written in the book will be rescued. So whoever the elect are, they're going to be rescued, man. You see, and we hope to be a part of that number. We hope that that, that we are rescued from this time we're coming into. Because you know, when, when this time does come, you know, right now the Lord is speaking to his prophets. But once the Lord is done speaking... Angle, you, you, you ain't gonna be able to get these, you know, these video epistles or, or, or passed by the brothers at camp. You know, it's, it's gonna be, you know, you ain't got it, you ain't got it. All right, so repent, seek your help by Shimyo Shai. You know, I pray this has been edifying to the whole elect, man. We, 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 we are in some detrimental times, and you don't wanna get caught out there. So, with that being said, I'm gonna say Shalom, Kormi Sharallah, Abab Ball, double honors to our elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us his truth and truth and sincerity. Peace and salutations to the whole flex scattered abroad. Shalom.